Hey everybody, Zach here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we have a massive update as it relates to the infrastructure bill and crypto. Uh, for those of you who do not know, the upcoming infrastructure bill had a crypto element to it that would have been terrible, quite frankly, for cryptocurrency. However, thanks to a few people uh, in power, they've come together and they are adapting this bill to be a lot more crypto friendly and really good for the long-term growth of cryptocurrency as well as the security moving forward and the safety for a lot of people within the cryptocurrency industry. So we're gonna cover it here in this video. Thank you so much for stopping back at the channel. If it's your first time dropping in, welcome. Hopefully you get some value. Pretty confident that you will. If at any time you do, give the video a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. So you know every time we put out another video or go live, we do do some live streams as well, and uh, subscribe to the channel uh, across the board. Uh, did I just say that? I can't remember. But uh, okay, we're going to jump right into it. Before we get there, just want to quickly plug our private community. If you want to join a private community, consider this one, okay? With the Insider Package for just $20 per month, look at all these benefits you're going to get. Buy and sell trade alerts every time I buy, every time I sell, or add on to my position. I'll let you know. Insider content where you can direct message me at any time asking about your portfolio. I'll take a look at it for you, give you my advice. Again, not a financial advisor here, just for entertainment informational purposes, but I'd be happy to lend a helping hand. Group portfolio access. We update this each and every month. You're going to get to see how you build a portfolio. We can do that together as well as every Monday, you're gonna get five crypto to watch. I already sent out my five crypto this morning. I do that each and every Monday. So let me know if you have any questions about that and uh, can't wait for you to join our private community. All right, so let's pop into it. Coindesk just updated us on the latest as it relates to the infrastructure bill and crypto tax. So the infra infrastructure's bills, crypto tax provision helped hold up the overall bill last week because people are going back and forth on what should be done. So U.S. Senators Cynthia Loomis, or I'm sorry, it's Lummis. It rhymes with hummus. I'm going to show you that because she mentioned this on her Twitter page, Lummis. Uh, I, I wanted to say Loomis, but uh, she's um, a U.S. Senator from Wyoming, as well as Pat Toomey. Uh, both of them announced a compromise involving Democrats, Republicans, and the Treasury Department over a contentious tax provision in the Senate's infrastructure bill on Monday that would exempt crypto transaction validators from a broadened definition of, quote-unquote, broker. Okay, so we're going to hop into the latest here, and we're also going to get some reaction from the CEO of Coinbase uh, and what he is saying about the current goings-on related to the crypto tax and the infrastructure bill. All right, so let's pop over to Twitter where uh, Senator Cynthia Lummis is saying a lot here uh, today, and this is uh, just a couple hours ago, so bringing you up to the latest here that we have. We've been working all weekend to come up with a compromise to address the digital asset broker issue in the bipartisan infrastructure framework. While it's not perfect, it protects innovation and doesn't choose winners and losers. Today, we're going to push for an, an anonymous consent agreement on the Senate floor, which we are hoping will be successful. While there were bumps in the road, this is how the Senate is supposed to work. Thanks to, and then she mentions a lot of various senators uh, for their hard work and open minds on this issue. So we're still waiting to see kind of how this all plays out, but uh, we can bounce over here and read a little bit more on this subject. Senator Ron Wyden's dedication to protecting software developers and digital privacy rights is the main reason we ever had a chance to fix the infrastructure bill. He went to bat for us out of the real person, out of real pa uh, personal passion. No matter what happens next, he's a true champion. Thank you, Senator. And uh, this was a response to uh, this tweet by Peter Van Valkenburg, who said, if the infrastructure bill is the first time you're learning about Senator Wyden, check out the 1996 speech where he argues for the, a hands-off market-based approach to crypto, which stands for cryptography. He's a national treasure. So this uh, whole 
tweet box was retweeted by Brian Armstrong, Armstrong, who is the CEO of Coinbase. He's been very active on Twitter in recent days relating to this subject. Uh, by one measure, it's getting harder and harder to be hired at Coinbase, he says. Oh, they're looking for applications. I thought that was going to be related to the uh, ongoing situation in the Senate, but that's not the way that is read. All right, so let's bounce back over to this Coindesk article because there were some interesting tidbits here down below. Uh, so right here, unless the Senate can achieve anonymous consent okay, on the compromise before a final vote by Tuesday, which is tomorrow, the legislative body will send the original provision to the House of Reps, which would not be good for crypto. Now, we're going to continue to watch this very closely. The bill, which has been held up repeatedly for a number of issues, including the crypto provision, seeks to fund $1 trillion in both the infrastructure maintenance and new initiatives like electric vehicle charging stations. Part of the bill expects to pay for these initiatives through $28 billion raised over the next 10 years through expanded crypto tax reporting requirements. Wow. Okay, so there's a lot going on here. It says, however, the crypto industry pushed back against the wording of this provision. Uh, and a, a lot of retail investors push back just by adding more crypto. And the fact that the crypto market is overall green right now is a good thing. But it says here, uh, the crypto industry pushed back against the wording of this provision amid concerns that a revised definition of a broker would capture miners or other types of validators, hardware manufacturers, software developers, and other network participants that don't have customers or otherwise any ability to comply with the information reporting rules. Okay, so the senators that I mentioned before, they introduced an amendment to exempt non-broker type entities from the legislation. Earlier on Monday, Wyden said, I don't believe the cryptocurrency amendment language on offer is good enough to protect privacy and security, but it's certainly better than the underlying bill. Majority Leader Charles Schumer says he won't block an anonymous consent request on it. Okay, that's what we have right now. That is the latest. We're hoping that this revised uh, bill goes through. And that would not be a perfect situation for crypto, but it would be a much better situation. And if they can get this passed, this would be great in terms of the long-term growth of cryptocurrency, as well as uh, the security of cryptocurrency uh, and people working within the industry for the long term. So let's hope all goes well here. We'll know it'll be finalized by tomorrow. We'll have more and more information on this as it comes out. And uh, I'm sure we'll be talking about it over at the private Discord too. So come on over, join us over there. We'd love to have you. And again, you're going to get a lot of these perks. You're also going to get access to a bunch of smart people uh, in the cryptocurrency space. We have a plethora of people over here who are willing to help uh, all the time. They're talking about cryptocurrency. So come on over and join us. And I will see y'all in the next video.